Hello, and welcome to our tween and teen fandom kit demo with the Public Library of Brookline. My name is Abby, and I'm the tween librarian at the Brookline Village Library, and I'm here today to show you how, all how to make the Pokemon Terrarium project. Let's get started. Is this your first Public Library of Brookline to go program? Here's how it works. Each month, the library is offering new take-home program kits, complete with everything you need to follow along with our video of written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com to go for a full list of our current kit offerings and information on how to pick them up at any of our library locations. Now let's get crafting. First, we'll go through all the materials that were included in your kit or all the materials that you'll need if you didn't get a kit but still want to craft along with us. And all of those materials are also listed in the video description below. So first you'll need just like a little fish bowl, kind of plastic terrarium bowl. Second, you'll need a Pokemon. I have an Arbok here that I'll be using to make my terrarium. Then you'll need some sand, some moss, and some rocks, or just any kind of nature item that you find around your house if you want to add something else as well. And then some glue dots to help keep everything in place if you want. The first step is pretty easy. You're just going to take your sand and you're just going to put it right into the bowl. And so that sand just creates a really good base for your terrarium to help keep everything in place. So we do recommend putting it down first before you put down, you know, your rocks, your moss, your Pokemon. That sand just kind of helps keep everything where it should be in the bowl. Next, you'll want to take a look at all of the materials you have that you'll be putting inside of your terrarium and just start thinking about what you want it to look like. And with the glue dots, you can use them to kind of keep things in place. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the glue dots and I'm going to put it on the bottom of my Pokemon, my Arbok, and then I'm going to use the glue dot to put it on a rock. And that's what that's going to do is that's just going to help keep the Arbok in place whenever I do put it inside of the terrarium. And that way, you know, it's not just kind of loose in there and it doesn't get lost or anything. So I've placed the glue dot on the bottom and I'm just going to use it to attach the Pokemon to a rock like so. And you can use the glue dots for other things as well, like keeping other rocks in place. Maybe you can make like a little rock tower, or you can use it to keep moss in place as well. After you've thought about how you want to make your terrarium, you can just start kind of putting things in. Um, it's also really easy to, you know, kind of plan as you go. So you can put things in your terrarium and move them around as you need. You can take things out, put things back in however you want to do it. You can also find things, you know, around your home. So if you maybe have a nice flower bush near your house, you want to take a flower from that bush and put it in there for a nice little pop of color, you can do that as well. You can add, you know, all sorts of things to your terrarium. It doesn't just have to be the materials that were included in your kit. So you'll just place them in there in a way that looks nice to you. Once you're done placing everything inside of the terrarium, you're finished. This is how mine turned out. I really love how it looks, and I hope that you love how yours looks as well. Thank you all so much for celebrating your fandom with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media using the hashtag BRKLIB to go. The Tween and Teen Kit Program is generously sponsored by the Friends of the Brookline Public Library and the Brookline Library Foundation.